Those had 100% truth. Okay. So they, uh, right, all the facts here, today, they now he really understands man that's right now he, he got he got the full breakdown like the apostles say the, uh we know more than the apostles of, when you read about the apostles we know more than they did because you know yeah. they can tell you about the missiles nah. now we can tell, clearly show you about the missiles you know yeah. that's right the chip you know it, you know john, john the revelator he didn't know you know you know he, he didn't know it was gonna RFID he shit you know he, but now that same apostle is back here today and he can clearly explain it to you man and that's that right. like the brothers going into that's that perfection man the that's holy right. spirit has has been perfectly given unto to the to the to the prophets of the lord his servants so that we can execute his word and, and fulfill his prophecy that's right that's right and, and that's what that's the most important why because when we go into prophecy you know we've been speaking about it um lately even more you know because prophecy brings about hope you know when brothers when brothers spirits is down when you when your spirit is down you know, it's because you being worked, because you're depressed. Yeah. All right, why? Because the, you know, things are looking bleak. All right, things are looking dark. So what you need, when everything is dark, what you need, you need light, right? Yeah. So light is what? Another word for light is hope. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta be optimistic. Optimistic, yeah. there you go, optimistic. You gotta be optimistic. Now, okay, but what, but the thing is, you can't be optimistic on some bullshit, because then you're gonna be lying to yourself. Okay. All right, you can't just say, all right, man, listen, um. I've been depressed because you know shit is just going left. I'm just gonna get up and everything's gonna be all right. And every, no, it's you bring your confidence, which you know confidence going back with um, with, um, with faith, right? And 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 the word hope, meaning what confidence in the future. That's what brings your spirit back into that mode of okay, it's gonna be all right. You know what I'm saying? This shall pass as well. This trial and tribulation shall pass. As we moving on, America's still gonna be destroyed. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, the race right. war is still kicking out. You turn on the news, right? You turn on the news and you see riots, you see them gooks, the Moabites over there, you know what I'm saying? You know, just destroying the whole city. You should feel good about that because that goes right along with prophecy. That gives you hope. That's what prophecy is so important, man, because it keeps the hope. You know what they got those saying in the world? Keep the hope, brother. Keep the hope, bro. That's the only way, it's through prophecy. Alright? One of the greatest prophecies that that should, you know, give you a spiritual boost, you know, and keep that hope going. Hey, the Lord, said, he he said he gonna come back for us and give us the kingdom of heaven, man. Yeah, That's right. Yeah, yeah, if yeah. that don't get your spirit up, you know, nothing will. Yeah. You know? okay. That's prophecy because it's gonna happen in the future, and we telling people about it. So, question, brother. Spending this time building up hope and faith, mm -hmm. but once the kingdom gets here, we're not gonna need it anymore. What are we building? It for? If we, if we ask your question again. We're building hope and faith right now. Right. In the kingdom, we're not going to need it anymore. We're not going to need hope and faith. What are we building for? What are we, what, what, what are we building what? Hope and faith for? Remember, like I said last season, it's for, it's for what? It's, that's really, remember, that's the plan of the Lord. The plan of the Lord is to have of have faith right now that we can't see him. Remember, it's just for this season. Romans uh, 5 and 1, the scripture we brought that's out right. earlier. That's right, Romans 5 and That's right, bring that up. brought out earlier. Yeah, yeah it's, it's all about, actually, get that, Romans 5 and 1. It's all about seasons. We, in the season, we, the build up is for this season, for us to show the Lord that we believe in Him, first and foremost, right? And then, when we get, and also, 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 you got to add the fact that the Lord is trying to set us up to be gods as well. And the only way, and we always talked about that, the only way for you to be a God, you need to experience both the light and the darkness. Remember when we was, um, in, in the, in during the times of creation, we all, we knew about the light, but we didn't know about the darkness. So we had to experience it. So the Lord had to create a season for us to experience darkness. That's when you get Genesis to Revelation. Because without that, we would have just been those beings, just like the angels that only know of the light, but never know darkness. But to be a true God and to be able to judge, how can you judge, you know, how can you judge somebody when you don't even know what evil looks like or, 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 or the characteristics or what it feels like to be evil or to have done evil? Mm -hmm. So that's why this season was created for us to go off and then to get back in with true faith and then become gods. I may add, the, yeah. the reason for hope and faith is another reason is he is going to separate who really loves the Lord and who's going to he's going to show who his chosen are. That's right. You know, because not everybody is going to have hope and faith in, in this world. That's and right. Everybody's they they have no hope because they already think they obtained you know in their mind their kingdom. That's know? right. Living living it up. You know. 
that's what's going to prove to the Lord that we actually love Him. That's right. Uh -huh. Show Him our hope and our faith and how we do that by our works. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. You got it? It's Romans chapter 5 verse 1. It says, Therefore being justified by faith, we have peace with the Heavenly Father through our Lord, Hamashiach Yahweh Shah. Mm, read that again. This is Romans chapter 5 verse 1. Right. Therefore, being justified by faith, mm -hmm. we have peace with our power, Yahweh, through our Lord, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. Right. And even Apostle Hob, you know, making a video about the fact that the Heavenly Father is the ultimate uh, director. So he set up this movie the way he wanted to set up the movie. So, you know, because you have to understand that, oh, oh, what's that, Isaiah? Uh, my thoughts are not your thoughts. Because, because it's good to have, it's good to have questions, but when, she's, when you're trying to be, well, when you get into, a, you gotta be, be careful to get into a place where you start to try to understand the most high, how was mine. Seek out, yeah. seek out not the things that yeah, are Yeah, they're too high because if you, yeah. right, because yeah. if you, if you dig, that's the thing with the Lord. The Lord is a, is a man of many seats, a power of many secrets. Yeah. And if you dig too deep, yeah. you're going to lose yourself. Yeah, uh, you're going to yeah. lose yourself in there. So, so you have to, and, but, but that's also a part of just Israel, you know, being patient and also uh, what's the, uh, content. Con, content con, with what the Lord has given you. You know what I'm saying? So you also have to, that's something you have to be uh, beware of because I remember, you know, I used to ask myself question, okay, man, so I got a mother, I got a father, I, so God got to have a mother and yeah, father. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, you start asking, oh, well, what would God and what would God, and sometimes it just, it just is what it is. Oh, Ezra, Ezra asked the, um, um, Andrew Uriel about why are we going through this? Ezra was like, why don't you just, I think it's on 2nd Ezra 4 and 50, if you can find that, yeah, yeah. Oh, when, yeah. when he said, bring everybody from every season, why don't you just, Bring everybody oh, from yeah, every season yeah. together to just judge them so we can get this thing over with. Yeah. I think it's um, second and four. If you can find a four and um, forty five, I think it's in a forty. Yeah, after after some of the things the angel showed us, right? He didn't even want to be around nobody, man. Yeah, he's, dying. he's in the yeah. feeble position. <laughs> we find it. It's four and uh. But uh, if you got your, you know, if you got a preset. Oh yeah. This is uh, Salaki. This is Isaiah chapter 55, verse 8. It says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Heavenly Father. So the way we think, our, our mind is, uh, does, doesn't work the same as the Lord, you know? His ways is way above ours. We can't even comprehend a little bit. The, way to say, the scriptures say that His folly is, uh, uh, is greater than... Uh, uh, you know, the the yeah, kind of something along those lines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of shot if you can, because you know the Most High. That's why He's the Most High. You know, He He's His ways are so above ours, man. Because if we was to 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 be on that level with Him, you know that you know He got to keep something for Himself. He's a, you know He's the Creator. You know, you know he, you you don't give all you don't show all your cards. You know, so to say, even though He He's our we're His chosen people, but He's still only gonna give us what we need to know. You know. And, and more things are going to be shown unto us, of course, in the kingdom. But you know, that we should be. Uh, um, what's yeah, the word? Uh, um, not complacent, but uh, that's sufficient for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah with that, man. You know, because the Lord, man, He's omnipotent. He's he, He's everywhere at all times. He's He is. You know, He He, he just is. You know. Oh uh, yeah. Found it. It was uh, uh, the, the folly of, of the Most High is greater than... I, I, I forgot how it goes, but I know exactly yeah, what you're yeah, talking yeah, about. Judith, There's Judith chapter 8, verse 14. It says, For ye cannot find the depths of the heart of men, neither can ye perceive the thing that he thinketh. Then how can ye search out the Heavenly Father? Right, we can't just say, we can't understand things that he thinketh, so how can we search him out? I mean, it is... It's, uh, you need to use as a stopping point, you know. You yeah, just gotta, yeah. you know, it's like a, you just feel it in the spirit, you know. It's like, all right, this question it doesn't really pertain to uh, anything of grave importance, you know, it's a question, but it's, it's something that was not really uh, necessary to know, you know. You can, you can ask a question that could essentially make you bug out, you know, because certain things, certain things you aren't supposed to question. Because the scriptures say, who is thou that replies against the Heavenly Father? 
So there's a certain bounds of how far you're supposed to go as far as questioning the Lord, you know? Yeah. Like, like, like how the Shah said earlier, like, the Lord just is, you know? It's just things that the Heavenly Father just established that it just is what it is. Yeah, I mean, because the thing is, is huh? He is who He, he is. is. Yeah. Straight up. Because the only good thing is, if you knew everything that the Heavenly Father, Yahweh knew, then how does that make Him over you and still the God over you? Because He's a power of knowledge. There's certain right. things that, you know, that He's kept to Himself. So you got to be careful on how far you ask those questions, you know, because then you can, like I said, hey, the scripture says the mind of a man is as, as deep waters. Mm -hmm. Who knoweth it? So how much more the mind of the Lord? You know what I'm saying? Because remember, the universe, you got to understand something. You see how the universe is created with different planets? And how large the universe is? Really, that goes back to the, the heart of man. The Heavenly Father, you know, the, the Heavenly Father created uh, on the universe, our universe, according to how he created the mind. That's why you notice you can gather, what, infinite information in your, in your mind. It's like, a, it's like a universe by itself. So think about how big the universe is. That's kind of how your mind is. And then compare that to, to the mind of the Lord. That's, that's you know, that's on the next level. You got it? You got that piece of you know. Yeah, yeah, I got that song I had quoted earlier. Right. Uh, this is a First Corinthians 1 and 25. Because the foolishness of the Most High is wiser than man, and weakness and weakness of the Most High is stronger than man. That, that's what I, I quoted earlier. Yeah, that's right. Go ahead, brother. Bring, bring that up. Call it. Second Ezra 5, starting at verse 42. Right. Which, and matter of fact, you know what? Let's start it on. Uh, because, uh, you know, it's, it's listen, because, you, brother, your spirit, they want to know, right? It's, it's a good thing because guess what other men, and you, as, we, as we're going to read in Ezra, Ezra was asking a multitude of questions, right? So we're going to go into that. So it's not that, oh, you know, you should feel bad. It's just you have to understand that there's a point, and the scripture's going to bring that out. There's a point where you're like, okay, I'm just going to deal with what you gave me, and I'm just going to believe in what you gave me, all right? So let's go to uh, 2 Ezra 5. Let's start in um, 30. Second Ezra 5 and 30, all the way down to like uh, 44. We're going to read through that. Second Ezra 5, verse 30. Right. If thou did so much hate thy people, right. yet shouldest thou punish them with thine own hands. Right, so now Ezra is, is questioning why the Lord is doing what he's doing to his people. Because the Lord in the, in the Lord said, told Ezra, I made you upright. Yet the Lord told him that, but I gave you a body that would prevent you from being upright. Right. Yeah, of yeah. course, those things are gonna want you to ask questions. Like, yeah, why would you make me upright and then give me a body that's gonna prevent me from being upright? So, of course, you're gonna want to ask a question. And then the answer, so that, and then the answer that the Lord gave me, so that what? So you could believe in Him. And then that's what you have to settle with that, with, so that you could believe in Him. Why? Because the only, that's the only way to get back into His good graces is through believing in Him and His Son. Not the keeping of the Lord's statutes and commandments. Keep going. Now when I had spoken these words, the angel that came to me the night of four was sent unto me. Right, that's you, Go ahead. And said unto me, Hear me, and I will instruct thee. Hearken to the things that I say, and I shall tell thee more. Right. And I said, Speak on my Lord. Then he said unto me, Thou art sore troubled in mind for Israel's sake. There you go. So he was asking a lot of questions. <laughs> He was asking, because to him, a lot of things didn't make sense yeah, yeah. as far in the man's mind, trying to understand the most high's end game. Okay, why are you doing this? Why are you putting us through this hell? You knew we was going to go off, right, when you gave us these bodies, and now we're in captivity, and you putting us through this hell. But you, but, but you do say that is for our benefit. Explain that to me. So these are questions that he asked, because he sincerely wanted answers. Keep going. If I may add real quick, the Lord does everything for a reason, you know? That's right. Just like the laws, like don't eat swine, don't eat uh, uh, the, yes. the, the things that crawl on the floor, on the, on the sea, you know? That's right. Don't do this, don't do that. There's a reason for it, you know? That's right. He, 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 you know, he said that you should be sufficient with, he said it to do, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. He said not to eat it, so hey, that's it. Yeah, because know? the thing that Jake does sometimes, and all of us have to understand, you know, we have to get away from that. You have, you have to be able, you have to be aware of being too technical. Because you have spiritual, you know, you have the spiritual understanding and you got the technicality. Yeah, yeah, if you're yeah. trying to be too technical, then you're going to lose the spiritual understanding. Because kind of. like, like the brother said, the scripture says, thou shalt not eat swine. The Lord didn't break down yeah. to Israel, well, when you eat swine, 
it's gonna go the uh, um the uh, the germs or the microorganisms the from swine, the parasites are gonna go and attack your white cells, <laughs> and then when your white cells are destroyed, yeah, then yeah. you're gonna be susceptible to germs, and you're gonna be sick and die. He didn't. He could have said that, but he didn't. He yeah, just yeah, said, yeah. "Don't eat the shit." Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's just biological. <laughs> That's right. So if you're being too technical. If you're being too technical, you can get get yourself into a, a, a place that's going to actually not be towards your favor. Uh -huh. Because too much technicality shows doesn't show great faith. faith. Yeah. All right? Oh, right. Like that nigga Shemaya that, Oh, definitely. Definitely. He was, and we, we learned from that. He was extremely technical. Everything to him, he had to have a technical reason as to why this is what it is. And he's no longer here, here and he no longer sees, you know what I'm saying, the understanding of the scriptures. Uh -huh. Saying, and just to add to your point, it's just like when you ask your woman to do something and she says, Why? Yeah, it's yeah, the man. same thing with the Heavenly Father. You get mad, it's, it's the same thing with faith. the Lord. He has things set up how He wants it to be set up. We're just supposed to follow it. Well, remember the scripture says in Romans, Hope that is seen is not hope. Yeah, straight up. What? Right. Meaning, hope that is technically explained yeah. and technically <laughs> proven are all on the smallest. Particle, it's not hope. Okay. Right? Like the apostles always say, like they tell vocabulary, like, how do you know this? How do you know that? Faith. We know by yeah. faith. We don't see it. We don't need to see it. That wouldn't be faith. You know? Yeah. 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 He hates people that believe in something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's threatening. That's all it is with vocab, man. Vocab understands what's happening. Yeah. Why? Because he reads. He reads and he understands what's happening. He's trying his might to stop it. You know, the Lord said, what? If you want uh, to be uh, lucky, if you're lucky to be found to even fight against the Most High. So he's being allowed, the Lord is being allowed, the Lord is allowing him to be in opposition. This man, he, he thinks he's defending the gospel like we're attacking the church. Yeah. That's what in his mind, he's thinking the Israelites are attacking the church of Christ, you know, and I need to defend the gospel at all costs. Oh, now, I, me personally, I don't believe that. That's, me personally, I don't believe, I believe that this man knows exactly what's happening. Yeah. But the, see, the Most High has the ability to, to put the spirit in a man's mind you know, to fight against righteousness, to see righteousness, right, and to fight against righteousness. See, like that, like uh, the account where uh, the the I, the, people, the guys that were making idols, mm -hmm. they got together and say, look, hey, Paul, he he's he's making he's causing us money. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. there you go. And so they there got go. together and, and, and go. figured out something. To they do. knew they knew it was wrong, yeah. but they still did it. Yeah. So the, the most I can do that to you. Let's be, let's be going on all Ezra's. Thou art sore troubled in mind for Israel's sake. Right. Lovest thou that people better than me that made them? Right. So now, because remember, um, from 2nd Ezra to the 2nd chapter all the way to the 5th chapter, um, uh, Ezra is, you know, and I would advise you to read that. 2nd Ezra, second Ezra is, um, the whole chapter, really, but the first four, five, five chapters, definitely want to read that. Because if you think that you had questions, Ezra's had way more questions. To the point where now the, the angels tell them Ezra's were. Well, you think that you you think that you love Israel more than the most high? You out here questioning me why am I putting hands on my people and why I'm putting them through all these trials and tribulations when I can make it easy, but I decided not to make it easy yeah, for them. Yeah. You think that oh because just because you feel bad and you feel down about what's happening that makes you love the nation of Israel more than I do? Because you know, you remember you got some parents out here that believe that what they believe that cuddling your child. It's the way to show love. And they just cannot see the part where you gotta whoop their ass. And that's sometimes the give what? They ain't showing that tough love. All right? And Ezra's at that time couldn't see that. He couldn't see that. He was being emotional, but he wasn't really thinking through spiritually as to what the most size actually, you know, uh, doing. Well actually he just didn't he just had to believe. Okay? But the Lord made him ask these questions so what he could be used as an example for brothers that want to keep asking these questions so you can get the answer the same answer that the angel gave Ezra is the same answer he's going to give you and you're going to have to be content with that answer right. and I said no lord but of very grief have I spoken right for my reins pain me every hour right while I labor to comprehend the way of the most high you, you see that read that out. again <laughs> read that again Right. And I said, no, Lord, right. but a very grief have I spoken, right. for my reins pain me very hour, right. every hour, while I labor to comprehend the way of the Most High. You see that? I'm, every hour, I'm what? I'm struggling in my, and it's hurting me. I'm, I'm trying to understand what you're doing here. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to understand what you're doing here. 
Yeah. But the but he's saying comprehend the ways. You can't comprehend the ways of the most south fully. You just can't. It's above God. your pay grade. Yeah. That, that, there you go. It's, it's, above, it's above your spiritual pay grade. All right, oh, bro. Ahead, oh, excuse me. Let me disturb you. I'm more a passerby. Okay. And I've listened a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, part of what you was talking about was in the book. What, what book was that? The oh, No, no, no. Um, Second Ezra, the Apocrypha. Okay. And you were talking about the, the discipline of the child? Right, discipline of the child, yeah. Okay. Well, could you uh, Well, no. I mean, because we're going into the nation of Israel. You know, the Israelites, so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we're the Israelites. And the reason why uh, we've been going in captivity slavery, right? For hundreds of years is why? Because as the children of the Most High, we were supposed to follow the law, statutes, and commandments. But we decided to go against this law, so he decided what? Do what a father would do to children that don't want to be disciplined. Right. So what he did is what? He allowed the other nations to grab us. You know, our most recent captivity, which we, we were grabbed from the west coast of Africa, brought here in America, and we've been here for going on 500 years. That's happened before. The law, we brought the Most High's laws, he sent us to ancient Babylon. He sent us to ancient Persia. He sent us to all of these kingdoms to be slaves. And this is the last time, right? And now the Lord is saying, what? Well, now he's going to put his spirit and bring only an elect, 144,000, 12,000 men from each tribe out of this madness. But the majority of our people, Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, they're going to remain here and they're going to be, be destroyed when America get destroyed by throwing nuclear missiles in this upcoming throwing war. So that's a synopsis of what we're going into. Alright, brother. Alright. So all of us, you said in like, like me, and all of us, we're gonna be destroyed here? No, no, no. The 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 elect are gonna be saved. The chosen elect. Uh -huh. 144,000. And we hoping to be a part of that number. Because we don't want to be destroyed. But the majority of our people are not gonna make it. So what what makes us the the, the elect people? Well, well, well we're, we're hoping, you know what hope is, right? Yeah. Hope is a, a, it's a confidence, we're being confident and, and we're hoping that we could be um, the elect by having faith, mm -hmm. right? By, by believing. Oh, uh, Colossians, the third Luke. chapter, gives you a, a good definite, a good uh, description of the characteristics of somebody who is the elect. Yeah, well, let's get that. Colossians, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can, you, can you get that? Yeah, I mean, I'm, that. I'm intrigued, no, cool. I want to know. Cool. Cool. I'm more with you. Know, I'm not that's from here, I'm from New York, so you know. Are you from New York? Oh, yeah. okay. All right, well, hey. I just want to know, that's all. I, mean, I hope I ain't disturbing y'all. I know y'all know y'all little thing or whatever, but. I walked by here twice and I said, hold on. You know, yeah. my thing is my spirit. Mm -hmm. If my spirit lead me to something, right. then I go to something, right? Right. You know what I'm saying? And my father's from Africa. Y'all own that. Oh yeah, you from Cameroon? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's me, me here, man. Oh yeah. Same here, same here. Yeah. I'm yeah. So home. that's you know. So my you thing from is the English side, my, the English my, my, side or the French side? Huh? You from the English side or? They, they, they my, my father. They kind of both. My father stayed with his native tongue. Okay? Oh, okay. All right. Now the French came before the French were the Spaniards. What about okay, they came the in the beginning. No. The oh. Spaniards in the very beginning. Right? My, before my history, yeah. my father brought all the way down to make sure I do it and I teach my, my children and teach their children and they teach their children of what happened to us. Okay? Yeah, he's right. And what happened right. is the Spaniards was the very first one. See, the French came along later on and then the Germans. But the, what happened was the Spaniard was first. Right. And the Spaniards came and came and got us early. They were the early ones that came. And they took a lot of them. We go over there, and what happened was the French beat the Spaniards, okay, uh -huh. and conquered the Spaniards, right. and then used the Spaniards, the Spaniards as slaves to catch us. Because what they did was when they when they when they got the Spaniards, they took the slaves, they took they took us, and they took us also, and they had us to, to take them back to our land oh, yeah. and catch and surround and catch the others to bring the others over. Well, yeah, I mean, when I read, when I read into um, the history of um, yeah, I know my history. Well, uh, Babylon and Timber 2, Babylon and Timber 2 tells you that um, a lot of um, people, you know, Cameroonians, um, some of the Nigerians, a lot of them came from um, the Spanish Inquisition, meaning from Spain. Right. Right, they came from Spain and ran down into um, West Africa, running from, um, uh, um, yeah, the Inquisition, you know. The, uh, John was the King John at the, at the, at the time, the Spaniard King John II, mm -hmm. something like that. But yeah, that's that's true. That's true history. Right. That's right. You know that's right. And I, mean, I just I, no, 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 I, that's I, good. I, that's I good, ain't brother. quiet that's a lot. That's good. That's when good. I hear no, something that's from that's what's been that's told. But now we're moving forward now. Yeah, I know. Moving forward now, it's about understanding who we truly are, mm -hmm. not the names that were given to us, but who we are. And who we are, we are the Israelites. Okay. Now you got Babylon the Temple too. 
You got the. We you say Corinthians or Colossians? Colossians. 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 Third chapter. Third chapter. Yeah, third chapter. Yeah. This Colossians chapter three. I started. Let me start at the top. What? Yeah, you can't start at the top. This Colossians chapter three, verse one. It says, "If ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things." Which are above. Got, right, before we go, before we go forward, who the world who the world calls Jesus Christ, his real name is Yahawashad. Instead of it's his instead, his name is not Jesus, his name is Yahawashad. Right. Yeah, I know his name. Right. Okay, yeah. So I'm just letting you know his name is Yahawashad because I'm gonna have this brother, he's gonna say his name as it's supposed to be versus how it's right. the English is written. It's, that's right there, right? Yeah, yeah, you can okay. run it back and say Yahawashad's name. If you don't this, mind, I want to say, I don't want to hear it. No, that's fine. Come on. Please. This Colossians chapter 3, verse 1. It says, If ye then be risen with Yahweh Shai, seek those things which are above, where Yahweh Shai sitteth on the right hand of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Set your affections on things above, not on things on the earth. For ye are dead, and your life is hid in Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Right, mm. dead meaning dead to this world. That's right. Go ahead. Now, is that the, is that, the one actually, that one? That's fine. Sorry, y'all, but in, in, the, in, in what, what actual Bible or this book King is James. this? Right? King James. It's King James. the King James? Yeah, King James. This is the closest thing to the Hebrew, so we can understand it. All right. Yeah, yeah. I learned from Hebrew. So I'm, I'm just trying to understand what, what, what you're getting in. Maybe. So you learned yeah. learn from what? I learned Hebrew. My oh, you, father's oh, yeah. Hebrew. Oh, okay. Good, Verse 4, it says, When Yahweh Shai, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Mm -hmm. Mortify therefore your members mm -hmm. which are upon the earth. Right, meaning uh, mortify means to, uh, to put them to the kill. Kill off. To death. Okay. Real quick, go, go ahead, back to, to your original question. How, yes. you, what's, how you, Who are the chosen? How are you going to know who the chosen yeah. are? Well, these, the brothers reading are the characteristics of those that are going to be chosen or striving to be chosen. That's right. So because they get the characteristics. Well, the, he's reading it. They're not. They're going to set. They're, they're, they're going to worry about the things in heaven. So we're not the, 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 the elect. They're not going to be worried about the things of this world. That's right. We know. Lord's will be those men. We know that everything is going to be destroyed. Great point. You know, we mortify our, our, our bodies because we know these, these corruptible bodies are going to be destroyed. Or yeah. We're, we're going to be changed. You know, but. These are characteristics going back to your original question, yeah, you know. What Paul did, this right here, Paul wrote a letter to Israelites living in Colossae. So that's why the book is called Colossians. That's right. So he's writing to a specific church, specific people there, which are the Israelites. No, that, that, that enlightened them. So that what? enlightened them? No, no, no. He's, he's enlightening them. Yeah, he's okay. basically sending a letter yeah. to them. Okay. Telling them, uh, giving them characteristics. He's telling them what to do, yep. basically, now that, now that we have woken up, mm -hmm. you know. Who who, actually, uh, who wrote the book of uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John? Those the people, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Because I, I, mean, I, got, I got to look at the Bible that I have. I'm trying to learn the English. Okay. Because Hebrew is saying something totally different. Okay. So I'm trying to learn. Because in order for me, right, I have to know all books, right, or I'm not a true believer. This is my father teaching me. Right? I have to know. I didn't say practice. I said I have to know. Because I got to know all, every single, and every angle and everything. So I know which, which to decipher, which one to keep. Okay? You filter, you filter, you filter it. You filter it through here. Make sure. Through, through the King James, that's it. Well, through the, you have, you yeah. have a Hebrew Bible? Yeah. Yes, I do. Okay. That works too. You know, okay. if you got a Hebrew Bible, that's, that's, that's good. That was the original language of the first one. Yeah. That's what my people you, spoke. You understand that? Before. Yeah. Wow. I've been taught by my father. And and the reason why I'm asking that because that was the very first one, and that one was taught. Now you got other people that did it in another language. They did a translation yeah, to the best that yeah. they could, yeah. but a lot of it was not the exact of quick. what it what it was said. And uh, that's even with the, the Arabs. Quick question. They got theirs too, and then they did the Quran. They did all this. So I read it. And I Hello, listen to so it, or whatever. But you know, one thing it said that without Which, the confirmation, yeah, yeah. The, the Hebrew Bible you got is it in the Paleo or the, in the Syrian Hebrew? Which one? Syrian Hebrew. The Syrian oh, Hebrew, okay. okay. So the Hebrew, I think the Hebrew, the Hebrew that you know might be more modern. It's not the ancient, ancent Hebrew, which nah, we know as the Lashwa Kudash. Yeah, the, the Well, you we, say you got the Syrian. The Syrian came after the Paleo. Yeah. Which is so, I mean, I have a word. You know what year it come out? What's what? that? The Syrian. Syrian. They're in a Syrian captivity. Huh? Uh, during the, the, they changed it up during the Syrian captivity. That's, the, I, that's I'm not the exact. No, that's not the original Syrian. It's two. 
well, if y'all don't know it. It's two different ones. It's a revised one, and it never supposed to have been revised. It was never supposed to have been. What happened was through captivity, through captivity, you had another nation of people, right? Through the captivity that changed some things up. Yeah. And it wasn't supposed That's to be. I'm just, I'm not. No, you're, right, you're, right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. right. To each his own. But that, 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 was, that was changed over. And they were what you was calling when you he was talking about in the, in the book earlier. Uh, Ezek was, was Ezerist, right? And the thing that changed, they're talking about the discipline. They rewrote the discipline. Okay? The how the discipline was. In the Hebrew, the first, the, the way of discipline was to sit with the person to ask and to wonder why they do, why the thought had came upon their mind to make a decision to do what they done. That was a discipline because the thing was to educate, right? And the part of the, the discipline it was, was you got to allow the individual, the child, or the person that was going into the puberty. And what he had to do is he had to learn and then you correct them on the mistakes. What's that they Hebrew make. word for discipline that you're talking about? <coughs> I got my phone. I got my phone. I got my phone. Drop your cigarette, man. Oh, oh, y'all got to get some. Go ahead. Finish up. We're gonna get some more characteristics of the elect. Go ahead. This Colossians chapter three, verse five. It says, "Mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, and ordinate affections." Evil con concupiscence. Right, so the first step is to stop doing all of this stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the first step, he's going to tell you what you need to stop doing, you know? Yeah. So run that list back one more time. Yeah. This is Colossians chapter 3, verse 5. And it's easy. This stuff is easy to stop doing, you know? Go ahead. This, this Colossians chapter 3, verse 5. Mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, Inordinate affections, mm. evil concupiscence, and covetousness, like which is idolatry. Mm. For, for which things sake the wrath of the Heavenly Father cometh on the children of disobedience. The, the letter U, the only vowels are. Uh, no, 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 no. What I'm telling you, there's no E. I mean, that's the thing with this guy. There's only an I and an I. You see that? Look, you see that up there? That little there alphabet go. right there. Our ancient Hebrew alphabet. Mm -hmm. On top is what our language looked like in the ancient times. I wish I had them stones. Yeah, Eve tablets. Tablets. Oh, God. That's the original language. Look, you see the way they sound? A ba ga da ha wa za ha ta. Going through. That's how our language sounded. The only vowel, the only other vowel is I. Which you see, it looks like an I. It stands for ayan, which means I. Now that word you pulled up, it looks close to ayan. I don't know if that means I or not, but that's what our ancient language looks like. You know? Ayan. Ayan. That's Anyan. What does that mean, though? It says, uh, speak Hebrew with confidence. Is that what that means? In no, Hebrew? it doesn't mean. It tells you to speak it with confidence. Oh, we do. We the do. Anyan means discipline. 